So we're going to do a, a serious, uh, uh, some serious stories about how Trump, uh, but again, Trump's foreign policy. There are the three different tiers here. The Exxon, Russia, oil stuff, uh, HUD, Education Department. This is just republicanism. That is the philosophy of modern republicanism. De destroy government essentially hand it over to corporations, increase inequality, hand things over to the already affluent and connected. If you looked at Rubio or Jeb Bush's tax plans and their proposals on regulations, it would look strikingly similar to what you're seeing now. And then we have the sideshow of Trump, which matters, as in the case of uh, you know tweeting at China, that is a discreet track that matters. But now we also have this, where Trump is in the middle of his victory tour right now. And I believe this is in Wisconsin. He's got some... Orlando, Orlando excuse me. He's in Orlando. He's got some great... Uh, oh, excuse me. It's literally right there on the uh, on his platform, on his podium. He's in Orlando. He's got some great Christmas trees behind him. And what I like about Trump, and this is what somebody asked me. Somebody asked me once, Trump lies all the time. Hillary Clinton maybe lies or massages the truth, but not nearly as much as Trump. So why does she get paid for it? Uh, pay, why does she pay for it when he doesn't? And I said at the time, I was like, well, because Trump, like, his lying is true to his essence. So in a perverse way, his lying is honest. And he is now out basically giving this thank you tour, and he's dropping these seeds. We don't play all of them because we're not going to constantly play the Trump game, but... We play. I played last week when he said, when he brings up Hillary Clinton's name, they all start saying, lock her up. And he's just like, oh, we don't care about that anymore. Then there's other things he's kind of said that I think Trevor Noah played about, like, well, I mean, I was cared about the, the swamp before I won, <laughs> but now I'm winning, you know. So it's almost as if he's going around to a bunch of Trump University graduates and telling them to their face, I mean, you bought this crazy real estate program. <laughs> you just got screwed. It's like the con man who can't help but tell you you've been conned. And here he is after months of saying that all the violence in his rallies were paid agitators. It was Bernie Sanders' fault. It was a lie. Blah, blah, blah. Check him out in, Oakland, in uh, Orlando, Florida, talking to his supporters about their behavior pre- and post-election. You people were violent, screaming, where's the wall? We want the wall. <laughs> Screaming, prison, prison, locker up. I mean, you are going crazy. I mean, you were nasty and mean and vicious and you wanted to win, right? Now, same crowds, that's right, deplorables. Whatever happened to the deplorables, right? They're not so deplorable. They're not so deplorable anymore. In fact, the other side's trying to figure out, well, in four years, how do we get some of these deplorables to our side, right? <laughs> but now, now, <laughs> it's much different. Now you're laid back, you're cool, you're mellow, right? You're, you're basking in the glory of victory. And we're already getting to work. <laughs> so there you have it. Basically, you people were a bunch of disgusting thugs who I used uh, to gen up hatred and insanity during the election. And now you chill because you won. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Over. Subscri subscribe.